the the YPG and the SDF went into Derazor. Um, and now Derazor is an area where there is not a lot of Kurdish people. Uh, and, and it was an area that was b- filled with ISIS, but also contested by the Syrian government and the YPG. And since they've been there, I think my suspicions have really started to blossom uh, because there have been quite a lot of problems and it's almost turned into like a sort of like Wild West type situation. And so what, what, what I fear is, is, is that this is actually happening. Like the YPG is sort of being, um, they're, they're, they're trying, they're doing, the, they're, I think they're engaged in this uh, militiafication sort of process. Right. Um, see, the thing is, I, I don't think that there was a master plan from the beginning. From, from what it seems to me from within Washington, the, y, the SDF project was really like, Turkey is spooked by these guys we're working with, we need a new label. But like, it kind of evolved, or people saw this yeah. as an option. Um, I think <laughs> the real, uh, and I mean, we don't know how successful this has been. I think the real <laughs> telling thing was in, in summer or fall of 2019, there's the uh, pencil incident where, uh, l- let me back up and say, uh, basically Mike Pompeo, when he came into the Trump administration, he's like single-minded, wants Iran, Iran, Iran. That's everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And he brought these three guys into the Syria team, uh, the trio who everybody should know their name, uh, Ambassador James Jeffrey, who is a former U.S. ambassador to Turkey. Um, Joel Rayburn, who is a former uh, U.S. Army guy, he wrote the Army's official history of the Iraq War, and he's very much oh. kind of like Iran hawk, I like to deal with the Syrian rebels. And then there's uh, Rich Outson, another former Army guy. I'm not really sure what his deal is, but I, he's probably going to take his Twitter down after this. But if you look at his Twitter, it's like this bizarre combination of like MAGA and pro-Turkey stuff. Oh, ooh, nice. The classic combo. MAGA and Turkey is like the uh, KFC Taco Bell duo. <laughs> Two great tastes that taste great together. Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein.